I used to make sure that I jogged at least a mile every day. Every day. Yeah, it was about 15 years ago. I was in the hospital for about eight months. I was given a year to live, right? From hemochromatosis. I have deadlier illnesses than, than MS, right? And, with, and then I had to go through a year of treatment, all right? So doctors are giving me antidepressants and painkillers. And then my other doctors were saying those painkillers and those antidepressants are making you fat. And I'm normally about 160 to 180, right? I'm six foot. And so that one year of going through treatments and shit and them giving me all these pills, I put on like 150 pounds is over 300 pounds, right? For the first time ever. And so my doctor's like, you know, all these pills are making you fat from those other doctors. I flushed them all down the toilet. I never took painkillers, synthetics ever again. No antidepressants ever again, right? I take Excedrin and Herb, right? and twitch right but what did i do i went through my entire kitchen and i got rid of all the garbage and i took it to the food bank and then i lived on beans rice steamed vegetables fresh fruit water and tea and fruit juice fresh made at home bread made fresh in the kitchen that's all i ate for about three years i lost 150 pounds i jogged usually about nine miles if I could, but I never failed to jog three miles a day, right? And then I started making a rule where I would jog, I would run a mile. If I wasn't gonna jog my three miles, I would sprint a mile. That was my goal. When I was 305 pounds, my goal was to sprint a mile. I said, I'm going to sprint a mile, that's my goal, because I used to all the time before I got sick 15 years ago and I reached my goal, and I got healthy again. I managed my symptoms, chronic costochondritis, hereditary hemochromatosis, had them under control, went back to work, hard time, started a state gardening service, used to go to the gym every day, I love it. You guys, lesson learned, stay healthy, keep going to the gym, eat right, eat healthy food, you'll be glad you did. Because healthy food and that kind of regimen and that kind of lifestyle, going to the gym, being active, eating healthy food, is the only reason I'm still alive. That I've beat all of these illnesses, that I've lasted this long, is because I ate, I eat right, I eat right, and I used to be really active. I can't be as active as I used to be, but that really kept me ticking for a long time, man. Going to the gym, jogging, keeping your cardio up, and counting your calories. Don't eat no fat calories. Just avoid that shit. Fruit has all the sugars and carbs you need. One apple a day has all the carbs and sugars you need. One apple a day. Keep in mind, my friends, you can eat an entire truckload of bananas and you will not gain a pound. But if you eat one order of Cheese fries from Outback Steakhouse, that's enough calories to sustain a human being for a week. It's not, it's not about how much you eat, it's about what you eat. It's not the amount. I could eat plums all day and I never gain a pound. Think about it. Think about what you put in your mouth and how long you want to last. You want to last as long as me? I got two life-threatening illnesses that could kill me right now. The reason I'm still going and my Opinion is eating right and staying fucking active. Going to the gym. That's, listen, that's where all the honeys are. Is at the gym. They got TV, shit. Just make sure you get the treadmill by the tanning room. Last time I had my gym membership, man, right? Check it out. This is why I tell you this. Because the last time I had my gym membership was near a college. It was a smaller college. But all the female professors that were like my age, they were like at the time like 45. That's where all the female, single female professors that were like 45, 50 years old, that's where they go to gym. Thanks for the fun company today, 